Hi, I'm Rich Morris from Broodminder, and I want to talk about hive temperature today. So there's a couple of things we know. One is that when bees are raising brood, they regulate the temperature to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And when they're not raising brood, then it's not regulated as closely, and you'll see it track outside temperatures more. The other thing we know is that in the winter, if the temperature inside your hive is warmer than outside, then there's probably bees in there generating a little bit of heat. Uh, when you install your brood minder, you want to put it, you want the temperature sensor to be near the center of the hive. Uh, the temperature sensor is mounted on the circuit board end, and that's why we made it long like that so that it's easy to get to the center of the hive. Ray Walker has shared a couple of pictures with us, and here's a clear picture looking down into one of his hives. And you can see that the temperature, the white part of the temperature is the warmest, and it's in the center of the hive. Now, if you know the brood is off to one side or the other, you know, go ahead and put the sensor there. Now, what we want to do is look at some of uh, the graphs that you might get. And here's one of a hive in Virginia. And you can see how the uh, colors of the graph are above the lower brood box and the upper brood box. And when we zoom in here, we see that there's really good regulation in the upper brood box. And then as a couple of weeks go by, the lower brood box also comes into regulation. The black line is the outdoor temperature, so you can see how well they're regulating. And as we go along here, all of a sudden in early October, something changes. Um, and if we look at the weight, we also see that that was when a hive inspection was done. Uh, because the boxes were unstacked and the weight went down. And so what happened here, we found out from the owner later, was that the queen was crushed, and immediately the bees reacted to that and started not regulating as well, and ultimately the hive died off. Uh, in another example, this one's out on the west coast uh, near San Francisco, and spring comes along and the hive temperatures you know go up and start regulating in the bottom box this time you can see the darker line and it's going along pretty well and then all of a sudden in april the temperature regulation goes off so when we contacted uh, this is another person we know and we see back here in early march a blip in the temperature and what he did then was a hive split. So he did a hive split, took uh, the bees out and took the queen to another hive. And then lo and behold, three weeks later, 21 days after all the brood had emerged, then they quit regulating the hive temperature. Uh, in another example here, this is a hive in Virginia and we can see the regulation goes on pretty well. But one thing we note is that uh, during June and during June and July, the internal temperature is going actually above 95, almost to 100 degrees. And that sort of indicates that maybe you need some more ventilation in the hive because they don't really want it hotter than 95 degrees either. And if you're in a hot climate, then that's hard for them to regulate. And we can see that go along here. And the last example I'll show you is one where it was going along fine, but then the queen uh, got distressed, got stressed somehow uh, in early May here. And we see the uh, upper brood box sort of fall off regulation. So she is only laying in the lower brood box. But then in early June, uh, started laying again in the lower brood box and the upper brood box, and it went on fine. This hive, though, uh, we found out from the owner, never got very strong. And here in August, we see that there's some really big peaks. And come to find out that that was a robbing session. So across four, four or five days, the bees were robbed. And during that robbing, then they got very animated and fighting and the temperature uh, that the sensor saw went up. So that's just some interesting things that we've seen 
Uh, we're anxious to get more information from everybody, and as we do, we'll share it with you. Good luck with your bees, and we'll talk to you later.